guys, Sparky here. So today we're going to be taking a second look at the Fuse TV app. So about three months ago, I had done a quick overview video uh, of the Fuse TV app and uploaded it to my channel on YouTube for some of my friends to look at, uh, to show them some of the features um, that the app offered, because the app is still in development and currently in a beta state. Um, if I had to compare the app to any other program that you may know, the closest thing I can compare it to would be Plays TV with added features to it. Uh, just a little disclaimer with that being said, I'm not a YouTube content creator. I don't do videos on a routine basis. The videos that I have uploaded to my channel are primarily were made for like my friends or uh, just some laughs that we had. Um, nothing content wise for large viewership, but I did have a sudden spike increase into the Fuse TV video that I had done um, and a lot of questions around the app in the comment section on my channel. So I had some requests to do a second video, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's jump into it. So some of the requests that I had for this app um, we're going to go over today, such as like ease of use, the interface within the app itself, the features that the app offers, the auto capture function with it built in within the app for gameplay and the use of uploading to the website in your profile and how easy that that is so after creating an account and opening the app for the first time it'll come to this um, this is the app itself as you can see it's still in beta it's pretty clean looking it's simple uh, it's got a nice timeline for you to review clips on it's uh, like a social media platform in a sense you have your following, uh, people you follow, you can see when they post clips, what's trending currently, uh, and recent uploads. And you can also sort by game, uh, like League of Legends, Rainbow Six, Fortnite, so on and so forth. So as you play a game such as League of Legends, um, in the background, all you do is have the app minimized in the background, and the app will auto capture your highlights within your game. So when I say auto capture your highlights, like your kills, assists, and your deaths, are placed on a timeline when you come out of game. So when you come out of game, this timeline will open up <clears throat> and be available for your review or for you to be able to select which parts of the game you want to add to your timeline within your editor and then upload to your profile. So let's just take this kill for example. As you can see, I have a kill here, assist, deaths, right? And then we can select these then we can select what we want to upload. So let's say we want to upload this kill to our profile, right? We select the kill and then we click buff this clip. <clears throat> this is what the game had, or the app had auto captured within the game itself. So let's go ahead and mute this. Um, as you can see, it gives me a pretty decent timeline of prior to the kill. And let's see how long it gives me after the kill that it recorded. So the auto capture feature within itself seems to give you plenty of time prior to your actual kill and it gives you time after to see it. So you're not missing anything if those little crucial moments maybe happened five seconds after then maybe you flashed away out of a team fight or something along those lines. Let's start looking at the features within the app itself. Uh, music, let's say we wanna add music. We can come over here and we can see there's pre-uploaded music it appears. So. We know that we have music playing in the background of our clip. If we click play, we have our microphone going and music playing, but let's add music from the tab up at the top left. So we'll go ahead and mute the clip, which is easy. You just click the mute button down here, it mutes the entire clip, and then we'll look at music. Um, there's pre-uploaded music within the app. You can also import your own music files by clicking import here. But let's just look up NCS, see if there's anything that's NCS related. Let's just listen to this for Let's add this to our clip. Okay. So it overlays on top of your clip. And let's go ahead and lower the, the volume just a little bit. Okay. And then we hit play. Okay. We have music on our clip. So now that we have music on our clip, let's look to add some text. Let's find a point in time where we want to add text to our video. So let's say right here we want to add some text. Um, let's just type hello. Check out the different fonts. Hello. And let's see, K 
can we move this? We should be able to move this, right? Okay, click done. Oh yeah, okay. And then we can set the length of the text and how long we want it to appear. Can we do anything else with it? Right clicking, it doesn't look like no transitions or like animations for in and out. Um, so let's see what it looks like currently. Okay, that's how we want it. Let's look to add some filters. What are the what filters do we have here? Let's look to add some filters here. Um, all right, let's see. Let's say we want to add a filter right before we come out of stealth. See what that looks like. Maybe that's not the filter we want. See what this one is. Okay, so now that we have that one on there, let's just do this. I like, we'll put live stream Ari reaction. And then let's move that down here. <laughs> and then let's look to add maybe some sounds to it. <laughs> and we'll add that right there because that's probably where we want it. Okay. So now we've added music, some sounds, some text, and a filter, all within less than two minutes. Uh, let's look to add a quick video effect. Um, so let's click. Let's look to add fast forward to our clip. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So let's speed that up just a little bit more. Okay, it's coming along. And then at the end, let's add a sticker. Now let's just add a sticker for the fun of it uh, here at the end. So we found a sticker. We'll just do a dance sticker. Let's just put it here. So now let's watch it. We got our fast forward. Coming in for the gank. Got the Ari reaction. Our audio clip and our sticker. All less than th three and a half minutes. Now, let's just click done. Share clip. And we can describe our clip. Uh, here we can save the clip after posting to our hard drive. Share on Twitter. Okay. Uh, insert an emoji and then we'll just put hashtag test also and then we click save and view boom done it's on our profile how easy is that what? What the fuck? and that's uh, as simple as it is And if we go to the recent, if we go to the recent tab on our home screen, we can see the video is posted right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, I'm not a YouTube content creator, and this is uh, the first time I've ever done something like this, and I hope it wasn't uh, too much or not enough. Um, if you guys would like to leave some feedback in the comment section below, um, I'd greatly appreciate it. I said it's open beta for this app, so feel free, guys, hop on over to that website, download that app. Give it a chance. It's very simple to set up. Create an account. It's it's pretty much automatic. You really don't have much into any type of setup for this app. And give it a shot. See what you think of it. Um, play around with it. I mean, the features are so...
so there are so many features within this app that you would have to just you'd have to pay for video editing software just to get a lot of those so hop on over if you have any questions feel free to get with the developers hop in their discord i'll put the link in the section below along with the link for download and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope everyone's staying safe from corona and have a wonderful rest of your day